you know, starting in October, we started walking the dogs and, you know, volunteering time to walk them. And then we came across Lana. And then that's when Shannon introduced me to Lana on her page. Um, and then we decided, you know what, let's give her a chance and let's start walking her. We saw her story on the news and Shannon's like, she's the one. So we started, you know, trying to figure out what we can do to get her. And uh, it wasn't easy. We did a meet and greet at the New York Bully Crew. And I have to be completely honest, it did not go so well. <laughs> it went really um, bad. <laughs> Craig's exact words, I think, to me were, that's not a good sign. And Shannon was like heartbroken. She's like, she was head over heels for Lana, needed Lana. And I told Craig, listen, we'll do whatever we got to do to get them to be one, you know, be hand in hand and brother and sister. But we just need direction how to do it. We've never done it before, but we're willing to put in the work. You know, if we did the work and for whatever reason, it still didn't work out, then, you know, at least we know we tried everything possible. And then, you know, it is what it is. It wouldn't work out. But we wanted to make sure that we really, you know, gave it everything first. I was actually here the first day that they came and they came uh, with their dog to meet Lana. And when I uh, first saw their dog and uh, there was dogs walking by, I saw that he was a little, uh, he was a little reactive. So uh, he was pulling them on the chain, he was pulling them on the leash and uh, he was acting a little unruly. So I told them that I thought it would be best if they started by uh, working with their dog first. And then I also told them that Lana is a little shy when she meets people and that they need to win her over. So they left here that day and uh, they immediately booked an appointment with Joey, our in-house trainer. And then the very next day, they came back to walk Lana. And I told them, just take her out on a walk, don't pay any attention to her, just let her just do her thing, and eventually she'll come around for attention. It took about a week of going there every day. We went for about one and a half to two hours, just walked her, played with her, basically let her make all the right calls first. And like on the fourth day, we sat there, and she actually jumped on me the first time, and like actually was like, all right, pet me. But we went literally every day, for two hours a day for like a week and a half straight. And then on like the fifth day, I would say that's when she warmed she up to you. Up. She like jumped on her, like she sat down on the same bench and like she jumped on her. And we're like, all right, we're making progress here. Um, and then slowly but surely, she just started trusting us. We would return, she would, you know, give us a great greeting. You know, she was happy to see us. These guys did everything right. Everything from the first day. They had, you know, they had the idea that they wanted the dogs. And in any other circumstances, these dogs would have failed. They would have been a fight already. They would have been a lot, you know, there would have been a lot of chaos. You know what I mean? And dogs can get along with dogs, with other dogs. It's just, some dogs may take longer, some dogs, you know, but they could. If you're willing to put the work in, they could. The dogs just need structure. Once they have that structure, you can love them as much as you want, but they gotta have that structure. They gotta know they're safe. And that's why this worked out. Well, the first time we went up, we took them for a pack walk. Joey actually had to step in and correct Ruck for us. Ruck is our dog. Um, because he yeah. was just, I don't know if it's a man <laughs> thing or a dominance thing. He just wasn't very, he didn't love Lana at first. Let's just say that. And um, so with a little bit of correction from Joey and a little bit of, you know, tricks of the trade, we were able to get them to go on a walk again, but we were very far away from each other on the walk. Just, you know, he knows she's behind him, she knows he's in front of her, and that's kind of just how it all started. Packed walks, I can't say how much it helps it because they just, they get to know each other. They form a bond, if you will. And every, we did it every day, oh, three, yeah, times a day three times a day. For a half hour minimum, we walked them just so they can get closer to one another. I would say that took about two good weeks of walking them before mm -hmm. they were like, okay, I can stand you. And then, you know, we, we were allowed to keep Lana with us at home. We are fortunate enough that we can separate the levels of the house to where she was downstairs and he was upstairs. And we had the gate, they can see each other, they would smell each other, but it was an everyday thing. Um, we both, you know, work crazy schedules, but you just have to put in the time and put in the effort. We spent a lot of time at home with them. And then we, we were given the okay by Joey to, you know, bring her to the main floor and have them just on the other side of the gate in a different room. Um, so she has her own little guest room, yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah, because it's crazy, like, to think of, like, when she first came, we put a gate up in the basement. So basically, we were told, basically, you're going to take treats and bring them to the fence. And so they know every time they come face to face, with, you know, just, you know, it's good, it's good stuff. So basically you'd get a treat, you get a treat. 
you know, but they say, okay, we come to each other and it's good things happen. And then once, you know, they were comfortable at the gate, we actually moved the gate to one of the bedrooms upstairs. So now she was on the same floor as Ruck, but still behind the gate where they could see each other, walk past each other, but they couldn't get to each other. And then we would do the same thing. Come to the gate, make them sit, give them each a treat so they knew, okay, good things come when we both come together. And then little by little, the pack walks went from being, you know, one person in front, one person in the back, to getting closer and closer to side by side, maybe one person in the street, one person on the sidewalk. And then it, now it came to the point where they walk till they're touching back and, you know, they literally walk on the same sidewalk and they bump into each other and they actually push each other over to see if we can get to the tree first. The more effort you put in, the better you're gonna get an outcome for yourself and for the dog. Yeah, people like really think, you know, it's just magic. Like you're just gonna bring home another dog and like, they're gonna work out perfectly. Like they don't understand, like it does take work. It's like having a kid and you literally gotta put the effort into, you know, any dog can be trained. Like you hear Craig say it all the time. You know, any dog can be trained to get along with any other dog. It's, you know, how you're gonna train them, how you're gonna, you know, what environment you're gonna put them in. And literally it was just, you know, we listened to everything he said and you know, what Joey was coming and helping us train them. And literally within three weeks, they went from barking at each other. They wouldn't take two steps without wanting to look like they wanted to kill each other to the point where they're sleeping on the same bed and they sleep on each other's heads. So a lot of people come in and talk the talk, but not a lot of people walk the walk. So shout out to them for doing exactly what they said they were gonna do. They came here that day wanting to adopt Lana and that's exactly what they did. So I wish that we had a hundred people like that because then we'd have no dogs under our care. Sorry.